Alright, um, I'm quite long, never do the modern math video. So since the student asked me about this uh, matrix question, so yeah, so I decided to make a short video for him. Right, so in this question, right, you basically have three information. They tell you the matrix P, and then they tell you the mat matrix Q, and then they give you an equation PQ equals to QP, and the question asks you to find the value of X and Y. So to, for the question like this, uh, first idea is you, mu you must know in the metric world, PQ is not equal to the QP, all right? So, so normally you cannot simply assume PQ equal to the QP unless a question like this that tell you PQ is equal to the QP, then you can do that because in the metric world, metric A multiply metric B is not equal to the metric B multiply metric A unless the question says so. All right, this is the first idea uh, for this kind of question. All right, then I guess this question is not really hard, but then you need to know like how to do the multiplication for matrix. So let's do about PQ first. All right, if I want to do the PQ, right, I will just do the metric P multiply with the metric Q y1 negative 2 negative 1 okay when you do the mu multiplication for the matrix right uh you must know the first the first metric you always divide them into the uh horizontal box so i kind of draw the horizontal box for first matrix for the second matrix here i will always draw the vertical box for it okay what i want to do here is right like this you will see a horizontal box Later, we'll need to multiply the vertical box. So, first number multiply with the first number here. And then the second number going to multiply with the second number. Okay, so first number will multiply with the first number. Second number will multiply the second number. So, so you just imagine A multiply A, you get A square. Then you will do plus B multiply B, you will get B square. Definitely uh, over here is not the same, right? Uh, okay, I just give you an example. This is how you do the multiplication later. All right, this is first idea. Second idea is if you see the pattern of it, all right, so I, I'm going to call this one as a left. So you can see I have left and right, right? This one will be right. So this one is up and down, right? So I can call this, uh, this horizontal box will be top and this one at the bottom. It's the same bottom. So what happened is after mul multiplication, right? If the top multiply left, you will get the top left. So here also got top, bottom, left and right, right? So you just imagine if I use the top to multiply left, I should get top left here. Top left. If I use the top to multiply right, I should get top right. You can see top right. If I use the bottom to multiply left here, I should get the bottom left here. If I use the bottom to multiply right here, I will get the bottom right. Bottom, this is bottom, this is right. Bottom, right. So I hope you get the idea because if you get this idea, then your multiplication for metric will be a, a lot more easier. All right, so let's do it. Okay. So if you are still with me, then we're going to start our uh, multiplication here. So like what I say, now you have a uh, two box, right? Horizontal box and vertical box. So three, I will multiply Y. I give me three Y. And then I never use three again to multiply the negative two because each of it multiply once only. So after you use A multiply A, you no longer use it anymore. Then you just, uh, next step is just plus B multiply B. Okay, because some students will do 3 multiply y and 3 multiply negative 2 and get like super confused. So you just 3 multiply y, done already, no longer care about 3 and y, then focus at the x. x will multiply the next one, negative 2. So it will be negative 2x. This one as one, like one number, right? So they are together, right? This is not like separate, they are together. Just call 3y minus 2x. Right, then we already done the top left then we need to focus on top right, which is here, this position. So 3 multiply 3 is 3. Then no longer use 3 and 1. Huh? I mean 3 multiply 1 is 3. No longer use 3 and 1. Now focus on the next term. x will multiply with negative 1. So if x multiply negative 1, give me negative x. This one is a one whole term, right? They are together. 
but this term and this term are separate okay because there are two different term here all right then we go to the bottom left all right bottom left i choose this horizontal box and this uh, vertical one all right so the first one one going to multiply y which is y here okay one multiply y and then plus zero multiply negative two which is zero this one as one term all right then bottom right that's our bottom left right now bottom right so one multiply one give me one zero multiply this one plus zero so we can see this is my a b c d all right i already done but normally in math we doesn't write plus zero right so i'll just erase the plus zero okay so yeah i done pq already then right now i want to do qp because later i need to equal them in order to solve it all right so okay let me just write at the bottom it seems uh better and more space for me all right so okay then uh, maybe i use other color qp okay S same thing uh but you need to rearrange the thing because come out the different thing q will be uh y one negative two negative one p will be three x one zero all right then like what i say the first metric i will i will group them like horizontal boxes and then this one i group them like the vertical boxes and then same thing top bottom left right okay so you get the idea i'm going to start my multiplication so top multiply the left first okay left right top bottom just in case you you're a bit lost here so this is top bottom uh, left right okay top left first y multiply 3 is 3y no longer use the y and 3 anymore then 1 will multiply with 1 plus 1 then you have to add the plus by yourself huh? the plus is actually i add it myself all right so this one is considered as one term then we settle the top left ready we go to the top right so y multiply x will be x y and then x and y i use already then i next term will be one multiply zero plus zero but i never write plus zero so i leave at x y all right so the next one will be bottom left okay this is bottom left negative two times three will be negative six negative one time one will be minus one all right then bottom right negative two times x will be negative two x negative one multiply zero is plus zero so we don't write plus zero isn't it then we only need to do the last step yeah because we have limited space so i'm going to write smaller a little bit so i copy down what's in my pq 3y minus 2x and then oh they are one term all right so write again um okay maybe i write it never mind 3y minus 2x and then this one is 3 minus x and then this is y this is 1 will equals to not enough space i write at the bottom but in the exam we should write in the same row okay so this is 3y plus 1 xy this is negative 7 and then negative 2x right the good thing about metric is each position have their specific value so that's mean what so I will not choose the first two positions to com do the comparing because I kind of need to solve the equation. I'm so lazy to solve it. But I will just choose the third position, which is y equals to negative 7. So therefore, my first answer, y equals to negative 7. And then next thing, I will choose the last position because it seems easier for me. That means 1 is equals to negative 2x. And x will become negative 1 over 2 i already solved the answer which is the one for x and y and you might ask what if you choose the first two what happens yeah but let's expose uh, but in the exam definitely you choose the uh easiest one okay because definitely you you do this one you will actually get uh the faster way of getting your answer but i write down my answer first all right but we try to expose what if we don't choose the easiest one we choose a hard one we say this one will equal to this one so 3y minus 2x equals to 3y plus 1 then we solve by 3y minus 3y you get 0 then x equals to negative 1 over 2 then we choose this one and this one 
So we will say 3 minus x equals to xy. What is our x? We have our x, right? So our x will be negative 1 over 2. Negative 1 over 2 multiplied with y. So here, if you use the calculator, it's 3 plus half, right? Which is 3.5 or 7 over 2 equals to negative y over 2. Then I simplify the 2 and 2, y equals to negative 7. I'm still getting back the same answer. Do you see that? So you can choose any of the position to compare. But make sure if you choose the like a top left, you might comparing with the top left. You don't choose a top left compared with the uh, top right. And then you definitely will not get the correct answer. Alright, so this kind of question is not uh, very hard, but it's not very easy as well because as long as some students I get so confused when they do the uh, multiplication, so I always recommend my students the first matrix you always make them horizontal, the second matrix you always make them the vertical, and then you just obey the rule like when horizontal box multiply with vertical box, first one multiply with the first one, done already, second plus second one multiply with the second one. Just follow this rule and then keep on practice. When you get used to it, you definitely can do the matrix topic very fast. All right, I hope this video do make you understand better about how to multiply the matrix. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.